What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Let's talk. Because you know, sometimes you just gotta talk. I'm a doll collector. Yes, I like Dorbles, Rainbow High, Fashion, Cleo and Draculaura, and don't get me started on the minis. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there? But me and Barbie, y'all, we go back to the 80s. Like seriously, baby Toya in the Barbie boxes. But I do have a few issues with how they do dollhouses. And play sets. To me, they don't always seem compatible. Let's take a field trip. I am in my she shed with the 2023 Barbie dream house. After I bought it back in June, I started working on a makeover. However, it just wasn't going the way I wanted it to. So I ended up scrapping the video. Do you remember when Barbie sold houses that we could decorate with accessories? Like this. This is the Honeybee Acres Busby Farmhouse. I saw it at Walmart and on Amazon for $49.99. It looks pretty similar to Calico Critters and Woodsies. This caught my eye because I love the colors. And I was wondering if it was compatible with Barbie Extra Mini Minis. Because here we are getting a house with some starter furniture. Then we can get accessory packs if we want to change up the rooms. You see, you see this? They were designed to go together. Sorry, <laughs> the rant is over. This house comes with two figures and over 50 pieces. Some assembly is required. Looks like this goes there, this right here. Add the floor, connect the two sides, add the balcony and porch on the end, and we've got a cute little farmhouse. Do you see that? They have molded bushes and they painted the details. No shade, just an observation. This little dollhouse is finished all the way around. Here's a side, here's the back, here's the other side, and we're back at the front. Now mine is not perfect. I have a few minor issues with the connector between the two parts of the house. This floor keeps coming loose, and my tile floor also had a few issues but it is just taped down. It's like on paperboard. So if I wanted to replace it, I could. Let's just stop and take note that there are no printed backgrounds. I mean, there is wallpaper, but that is okay. And those bricks have texture. This house is a little over 15 inches tall. The first two floors give us about four and three quarter inches of height. And the top floor is a little over four inches. We do get a few furniture items like a freestanding bed so we can decide where we want it to go. We have a toilet, another bed, a staircase, ladder, planter boxes that we can hang on the balcony, a porch swing, a crib, nightstand or end table and the drawer does open, a lamp, kitchen table, two chairs, a sofa, mattresses, for the beds and the crib. There are fabric pillows and cushions and little thin blankets that we can just place at the bottom of the beds. However, they don't really lay down without some help. We get two figures. It looks like a father and a daughter. The adult rabbit is about a three inch figure. The daughter is about two and a quarter, not counting the ears. They have fabric fashion that is removable and they can move at the head, shoulder, and hip. Oh, look at that. The dad is about the same height as a Barbie Extra Mini. Mini, because there's two minis. And this one is wearing some platform shoes, so she's a little taller than she has to be. But I think we can totally use them with this house, even on a doll stand. Here she is at the table, in the bathroom, taking a nap in the smaller bed, the larger bed, on the stairs, and sitting on the couch. And sharing clothes might be a thing. Oh yeah, more Barbie Extra Mini Minis are totally moving in. Which means we need more furniture. This is the cozy living room. I bought it for $9.99. Oh yeah, 
And I forgot to mention the house comes with curtain rods. They are different sizes and snap into little hooks above the windows, which is convenient because the living room comes with curtains. Here they are. We get three pairs. Feed the curtain rod through the top, then add the included rubber band. But I think I'm just going to fold mine accordion style and iron them, then place them on the rods. Add them to the room and use a little double-sided tape to hold them in place. And now we have curtains in our room. I'm going to move the couch that came with the house upstairs because we have a new longer couch. There's a fireplace, but I'm gonna place it upstairs as well. We have an entertainment unit and the doors open. There's a small TV, a house plant, a chair, a clock that comes with double-sided tape so we can attach it to the wall. We have a floor lamp, a basket with a cushion, a coffee table, a stack of tiny little books, a potted plant, candles, a picture frame of a bunny family, more fabric pillows, paper accessories like a little board game, and a felt rug. I think we're getting a nice amount of pieces here. We can move things around to other rooms and it should totally fit our Barbie Extra Mini Minis. I definitely have a new appreciation for them because they are pretty much human calico critters. Why didn't I see this before? And did you know there was a Barbie Extra Mini Minis set? I bought it on Amazon for $20. It comes with five dolls, including their stands. That comes out to be about $4.20 per doll. Now, some of these are repeats for me, but these two are new. Hmm, she has tinsel in her hair. But I think her dress is super cute. I recently tried to make something similar. It was a fail, but now I see where I went wrong. And she comes with a telephone purse that I can just place in our little house as a telephone. She has fancy eye makeup and gummy bear earrings. And check out the boots. The other doll has pink hair, a fuzzy clout dress, a little purse, and silver colored boots, and star earrings. We have so many girls in this house. We need more furniture. This is the sweet home kitchen. I like how they have a little ribbon on their box. We have more curtains that we could totally use as fabric to make doll clothes. Just saying. We have a sink with cabinets that open. Even the ones under the sink open. There's a stove. The oven can open and the rack can come out. There's a muffin pan with muffins and the muffins are also removable. We have a yellow refrigerator, the bottom opens, the doors open, and there's food inside. A tiny ice tray, carrots, a carton of milk, and eggs. There's a small felt rug, two plates, two cups, a teapot, a small tray, a mixing bowl and a spoon, and more rubber bands. So we can set up our tiny little kitchen for Barbie Extra Fly Mini Minis. She is totally dressed for a winter vacay with her icy blue hair, earmuffs, fuzzy outfit with a little snowflake, boots, and a mitten purse. She looks ready to enjoy a hot cup of tea at the table. There's a bubbly bee bathroom. I do end up with a second toilet with this playset, but I'm not gonna complain because I am totally loving that we can set this house up however we want. There's a little cabinet to go over the toilet and the doors open. If we wanna have two toilets, we can do that because with an empty house, we can decide where things go. There's a basket for toilet paper, more curtains, a double bathroom sink with a mirror, drawers that open and baskets underneath. There's a tub, a rug, which I'm going to put in the bedroom because space is limited. There's a small little footstool, teeny tiny bottles, 
a cup with toothbrushes that can be removed. What? <laughs> They're so small. There's a rubber duck, but it's plastic. A plant. I put that on the fireplace. And there's a towel rack with little towels. Giving our Barbie Extra Mini Minis a nice little bathroom. Then we have a second bedroom next door. I love that. We can take the mattress out of the crib and use it as a floor pillow. All the Barbie Extra Mini Minis are gonna wanna move in. This Extra Mini Mini is looking fabulous in a rainbow dress with a large bow, purple earrings, pink shoes, and a purse. Hmm, nice clothes, Purringtons. The mom's dress is not a perfect fit for our mini minis, plus it is open in the back. The dad's clothes might require a little tailoring, so we might have to craft our own. I am currently working on a pattern, but I think it's gonna need a little more time. So we just might have to rock our favorite Barbie Extra Mini Mini look until then. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Barbie Extra Mini Minis and gave them the Honey Bee Acres Farmhouse. And I would love to see this in one six scale, by the way. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff the frog vlog and bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time <laughs>